So I got caught in a rainstorm out in my front yard and realized that it caught me off guard because rain without the advantage of some thunder to give you a warning, well, it's disconcerting and leaves you scrambling around to gather all your tools up like, like it did me. On the other hand, thunder without rain is just kind of like more noise, background, sonic clutter in a world that's already plenty noisy. This month, we pay special attention to the apostles James and John, the sons of Zebedee, whom Jesus dubbed the sons of thunder. And we're not real sure why they got that nickname from our Lord, but we do know it wasn't because of their timidity or their propensity to want to stay on the sidelines because they were very much engaged in the Gospels. And sometimes they were self-centered, sending their mom to ask if they could have the thrones of honor at the Lord's left and right, and sometimes angry and harsh and impatient when they wanted to call down fire upon the, the village in Samaria. But by walking with our Lord, they were changed. Harshness was replaced by gentleness and prideful self-centeredness by humility and anger by mercy and by love. And then they still went forth as those same sons of thunder, but this time not rumbling to make their own presence known, but rather living in such a way to make Christ known. To the very end of their lives, James, the first of the apostles to be martyred around the year 45 by order of Herod Agrippa, dying by the sword, and John living a much longer life, going into exile and writing his letters, his gospel, the apocalypse, but giving witness to Christ throughout the entire course of it. As we consider the fact that our Lord took them where they were, changed them and sent them out, and they gave great witness to him, this month let us find a way that in our own everyday lives we can go forth. And in our own ways, we can be the thunder in our everyday lives that tells people about Jesus Christ. St. James, apostle and martyr for Christ. St. John, apostle and evangelist. Pray for us.